hello everyone welcome to this video in today's video we are going to see gradient divergence curve and laplacian in cartesian coordinate system so let us start with this what we know that u1 u2 and u3 are coordinate in orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system and if you compare it with cartesian coordinate system what we know is this u1 is x because cartesian coordinate is special type of orthogonal coordinate system okay orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system so u2 is uh, y and u3 is z also if you think about a unit vector you know that e1 cap is equal to i cap e2 cap is j cap and e3 cap is k cap e1 cap e2 cap and e3 cap are unit vectors okay these are unit vectors unit vectors okay now what we need is scale factors so h1 is a 1 h2 is a 1 and h3 is equal to 1 these are for cartesian coordinate system okay cartesian so we have obtained uh, the scale factors also in one of our video let us go down and uh, try to obtain the gradient what we know the general expression for gradient is del bar operating on psi is equal to e1 cap upon h1 deba psi by deba u1 plus e2 cap upon h2 deba psi by deba u2 plus e3 cap upon h3 deba psi by deba u3 right this is a general expression and we know the values for you can see here you know the values for u1 u2 and u3 then this value can be used in this expression just remember this value we are going to use these values throughout this uh, video okay so let me use it here del bar operating on psi e1 cap is i cap right here you can see h1 is uh, 1 so i don't need to write this h1 then deba psi by deba u1 uh, u1 is x so i will write x right here you can see u1 which is x okay then uh, we will write the next term e2 cap is j cap deba psi by h2 is uh, again 1 and deba psi by deba u2 which is y u2 is y then third is k cap e3 is a k cap and deba psi by deba u3 u3 so u3 is z and h3 is a 1 here you can see h3 is 1 so i don't need to write here i will i need to write one like this so there is no need of that so this is a expression for gradient right okay let us obtain the expression for divergence i hope this is very simple we are just using a general expression these are the so this expression is a general expression okay and uh, we are dealing with a particular coordinate system that is cartesian coordinate system so that's why we are using these values in this equation and we are getting expression for gradient in cartesian coordinate system now what we want to do is for divergence so let us write first the general expression for divergence so you take divergence like this right you take a dot product with some vector function del bar dot fr which is called as a divergence you can also write it like this divergence of f okay uh, the expression for divergence is i will write it down okay so expression of divergence is 1 upon h1 h2 h3 in bracket 
डेबा बाय डेबा u1 ऑफ f1 h2 h3 राइट प्लस डेबा बाय डेबा u2 f2 h1 h3 राइट प्लस डेबा बाय डेबा u3 देन f3 h1 h2 सो दिस इज अ एक्सप्रेशन व्हाट वी वांट टू डू वी वांट टू ऑब्टेन द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर डाइवर्जेंस इन कार्टेशियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो वी विल यूज द वैल्यूज ऑफ स्केल फैक्टर एंड कोऑर्डिनेट्स एंड यूनिट वेक्टर्स इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो यू सी यूनिट वेक्टर्स आर नॉट अवेल नॉट इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो वी विल यूज वन अपॉन एच वन एच टू एच थ्री सो वट आर वट आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एच वन एच टू एच थ्री इफ यू गो अपर्ड ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी एच वन एच टू एच थ्री आर वन इन कार्टेशन कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो लेट इस राइट इट हियर वन अपॉन वन सो आई डोंट नीड टू राइट दैट राइट सो लेट्स गो इन साइड द ब्रैकेट सो इट विल बी डेबा बाय डेबा यू वन यू वन इज एक्स सो एक्स राइट डेबा बाय डेबा एक्स ऑफ एफ वन एंड एच टू एच थ्री आर वन देन दिस टर्म डेबा बाय डेबा यू टू यू टू इज वाई सो वाई एफ टू एंड एच वन एंड एच थ्री आर वन देन डेबा बाय डेबा यू थ्री यू थ्री इज जेड देन एफ थ्री राइट एंड एच वन एंड एच टू आर वन so this is a final expression i think uh, this is very simple and very straight forward there is nothing complicated here we are just using a general expression this is a general expression right and in which we put the values of scale factor and coordinates right okay so i hope this is a clear also if you if Uh, that is also fine but if you write f bar in terms of its components okay let me write it more okay i can write fx i cap okay rather than saying f y j cap plus f z k cap rather than saying this f1 f2 and f3 you can use uh, f y f z and f x like this okay that is also fine that is not a problem If I use that, then the expression will look like delta f x by delta y x, then delta f y by delta y plus delta f z by delta z. I just uh, use um, this component of f like this. Okay, f x f x f y. I've said anyway. It is just notation. You don't need to worry about that. You can follow whichever you find easy. Okay. So now, curl. We are interested in obtaining the curl in Cartesian coordinate system. For that, we should know the general expression of curl. You write curl like this: curl of f bar, which is del bar cross f bar, whose general expression is one upon h1 h2. H3 and inside the matrix, so there is H1 E1 cap, then H2 E2 cap, and H3 E3 cap, and then second line is double by double U1, double by double U2, and double by double U3, and third row is F1, H1, F2, H2, and F3, H3. Okay. I... Okay. Now I have drawn it It's very straight, possibly. Okay. Again, we want to obtain Cartesian coordinate system. So what will what we will do? We will put the values of scale factors. Unit vectors, right? Wherever you see unit vectors, and then coordinates. And then, if you put those values, then it will look like del bar cross 
f bar is equal to h1 h2 h3 r1 so we don't need to worry about then then inside determinant you can see i cap right h1 is a 1 and e1 cap is i cap then j cap and then k cap right and then you can write tabba by tabba x right tabba by tabba y and tabba by tabba z because you tabba by tabba u1 tabba by tabba u2 and tabba by tabba u3 u1 u2 u3 r x y z and then third f1 f1 you can write fx f2 you can write fy f3 you can write fz and h1 h2 h3 are one scale factors in Cartesian coordinate system okay I can use here f1 f2 f3 there is no problem okay whichever you like okay let us solve this determinant if I try to solve this determinant then it will be i cap then inside a bracket dabba by dabba y right then you will this will be like this fz minus this quantity dabba by dabba z operating on fy okay similarly i can do for remaining part minus j cap and then you have to not you are not you are not going to consider it in this uh, column and you have to do it like this so see how i am doing dabba by dabba x operating on this z okay fz minus dabba by dabba z this is dabba by dabba z and it is going to operate on fx fx right okay so then there is a third term which is a plus k cap you are take or you are solving this determinant okay so i hope you know how to solve this okay then k cap and then what we see this is going to let me use a different color so that you will understand okay this will go to this and this will go to this okay so dava by dava x operating on let me change the color okay then dava by dava x operating on fy minus dava by dava y operating on fx so this is our final expression for del bar cross f bar so you can see this is our final expression okay let me show you this is our final expression you can also consider this whole this term as a final expression whichever you find easy to remember okay let us uh, go down and uh, obtain our last expression for Laplacian what we know for Laplacian the general expression is that is expression in a curvilinear in your coordinate system is del square psi we denote it like this del square is a call as Laplacian operator and it is given like this then there is a dabba by dabba u1 h2 h3 upon h1 dabba by dabba u1 and this is operating on psi this is the first term then there is a second term dabba by dabba u2 then h2 okay here will be h3 h1 and h2 will be down and there will be dabba by dabba u2 operating on psi okay then there is a third term you might uh, be thinking why i am not taking the component of psi that simply means psi is a scalar function okay then third is dabba by dabba u3 then there will be h1 h2 upon h3 dabba by dabba u3 operating on psi so this is the whole expression now next step will be use the values which are in a Cartesian coordinate system 
so that will be del square psi and h1 h2 h3 is 1 so i don't need to write this term okay here dabba by dabba u1 that is dabba by dabba x and this term is 1 right this term is a 1 and again dabba psi by dabba u1 okay u1 is x so x plus similarly for second term dabba by dabba y this term is a 1 and this term will be there dabba by dabba u2 u2 is y and then there will be third term dabba by dabba z right this u3 is a z this quantity is 1 and this quantity so you can put a bracket here if you want you can put a bracket so i should write here psi and here also and then i can write dabba psi by dabba u3 u3 is z right so final expression will be del square okay psi is equal to dabba 2 by dabba x square operating on psi plus dabba 2 by dabba y square operating on psi plus dabba 2 by dabba z square operating on psi this will be the final expression you can also write a uh, del square operator as like this del square is equal to dabba 2 by dabba x square plus dabba 2 by dabba y square plus dabba 2 by dabba z square so this will be the del square operator or laplacian operator this is expression for laplacian operator okay so we have obtained expression for gradient divergence curl and laplacian operator so what we were interested in opting we have obtained if you find this video useful then like the video and subscribe the channel so that you will get more useful content and share this video thank you